Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import uh, Apple credit card transactions into QuickBooks uh, QBO uh, banking tab. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll start from the uh, your uh, iPhone. Uh, so on iPhone, uh, you will see your wallet. So click that wa wallet thing. You know that's where you normally make your uh, Apple uh, card payment, right? So let's click that one. And the next one at the bottom, you will see statements. So this will be basically uh, downloading your statements either in uh, PDF format or uh, QuickBooks QBO format. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, download uh, QBO. So you can download C CSV file too. But uh, there is no way at this point to connect credit card, Apple credit card to QuickBooks. So it's basically it's downloading your statements and it's basically it's like a one month lag. Okay, so click the statements uh, below and click the month. And the next, you will see there's something like this. And when you click it, just click the select the QuickBooks QBO. And then, uh, you know, then you click your mail. So basically, it will download the uh, uh, your credit card format. So download, uh, click mail, and the next one is uh, you'll see the uh, your uh, your email format. So this is your Apple Card uh, statement. It's in QBO format, and uh, just download it, and uh, it will be in your email. This is the email that you can. Uh, open it uh, on desktop computer and so the once you download just save it someplace where you can easily locate so it will so look something like this this is the QBO file type okay so normally I download it to uh, desktop uh, then I can easily locate alright so that's all now we're gonna go to uh, uh, QuickBooks QBO, just try to log in. I'm already logged in. So you need to create a uh, uh, chart of accounts for the Apple credit card. So basically, you just go to accounting and click new and then the account type is going to be credit card, not bank account. Make sure it's a credit card type. And so this is the Apple credit card. Okay, save and close. So now when you go to your banking, you will see Apple credit card in here. Okay, so right now it's not connected. That's why you're not seeing it. So now you need to connect and uh, that's and then uh, uh, upload the uh, the uh, the statement okay so let's go to the uh, link account arrow in here on the right side and then select the upload from file okay and then you select the file so you just uh, download it saved uh, into your computer so in this case so this is the file I have so select that one and then click continue so as you can this is the one you know so this is the one for June uh, so click continue and it's taking time it's going to be really fast okay at this point all you have to do is uh, select that uh, uh, credit card account make sure it's the right account so Apple credit card that's the one we just created Apple credit card and click continue and as you can see it's import completed I don't have that many transactions this one if you have 400, 500 transactions, or 1,000, it might take a little longer, but it still goes fast. So basically saying, next step, accept your transactions will be on your uh, uh, banking bank, bank fees. And as usual, just like you uh, categorize your credit cards, uh, it's the same process, okay? So, and click done, we'll say, uh, you are in control of how your bank in go a bank into goes into QuickBooks transactions only so up in your QuickBooks after you review and acceptance so it's basically just because you download it doesn't mean it's in the QuickBooks register so you still have to uh, 
review and categorize and make sure you also add pay or vendors information that way you can track track the uh, all the expenses for example if you want to find out how much the rent you paid or how much telephone bill you paid to AT&T so make sure you add uh, uh, pay okay click that one and now you will see let's go to the uh, I have too many accounts on this one the Apple card and I won't have seven transactions in here so these are the ones it downloaded all the transactions all we have to do is now categorize you know make sure you add the uh, vendor like in this case uh, Jack in the box save it and categorize whatever you want just like you want you categorize all the transactions credit card transactions the same thing you know okay in this case I have a class and uh, the other stuff okay so you got an idea now so that's how you have it. it's pretty simple right okay so you just have to categorize all these and you need, then it's in QuickBooks alright thank you for watching this video and you can visit our website uh, I have already uh, done articles on this one so you can check out all the steps in here steps step by step instructions you will see it on the link on this video as well thank you bye